Hi everyone, welcome to the Weave Electronics. So this tutorial is about the programming the STM32 F1 microcontroller and this video is an introduction to the tools we will be using um, and during the whole tutorial. So this is more for beginners or hobbyists who would like to, to get more knowledge about microcontroller in general and also especially the STM32 F1 microcontroller series. Um, there will be some discussion about the uh, ARM microprocessor but not something in depth. Um, before continuing, uh, one of the recommendation is to use a PC screen to watch these videos as I will be um, taping directly in the IDE. IDE. Um, two screens would be best, so you would be watching one screen and uh, testing by yourself in the other one. So this also uh, tutorial will be making all the code from scratch and the C level language that will be used will be in introduction in introduction to in intermediary level so it not will not be hard to understand so during this series the tool that will be used from a software perspective for the first thing and the most important one we will be using the KL5 let me open it here so the KL5 is an IDE is made by uh, the ARM company themselves um, most of the micro they, they, they have a huge library with micro microcontrollers having the ARM microprocessor so that's quite a good one and also even you don't have the hardware there is a quite simulation uh, option that you can use so you can simulate how your microcontroller will be um, behaving to a certain extent we will be showing some simulation so we can um, understand the behavior before even the loading the the, uh, the code in our uploading the code in our microcontroller. Um, I made a series um, for the kale uh, in a different tutorial where we create. I show I showed how to create a project and also how to to. Uh, to open the debug mode so feel free to take a look at it as for the next videos I will skip this part just for saving time and focusing on the core uh, topic of that video also the other uh, software I'll be using is the STM32 Cube MX which is um, STM software uh, I will not use the software to generate code but mostly to, to show because it has a good um, graphic explanation for each microcontroller and it helps to get quickly the information um, of the uh, data for the microcontroller. This is for the softwares. I may use other one but it will be quite um, introduced for different videos. F okay and now for the hardware. For the hardware I'll be using um, this um, blue board aka blue pill so this blue board have the microcontroller the stm f103 c3 microcontroller one board would cost around two to three boxes i bought three four five boxes and they come um not uh, soldered with the pin so i soldered in a different way and to program these microcontrollers there is this st um, link v2 uh, careful they are not genuine uh, programmer but they can work if it happens to you that you buy the the pink one just I would like to give you a short warning uh, I took a picture so I can give you um, what would be the issue so as you can see here this is the USB picture showing that the pin number two is the clock and the pin number four is a DIO however if you open the PCP you will see that pin number 2 is the DEIO and the pin number 4 is the, the clock one so be careful when you do the wiring the PCB is the correct one and if you do according to what the USB is showing you would may have an issue and you will not be able to program your microcontroller okay good this is said so this is about the hardware that will be used um, for the document that I will be using and this document will be used just to explain to you and to show you how to to program even a different microcontroller the first one will be the datasheet 
So the data sheet for the one who are introduced are a summary of the microcontroller. So as I told you, I'm be using the STM32 F103 series, and it shows here the main um, the main uh, features that we will be using in uh, our programming videos. The first one it's a microcontroller that can go to 72 megahertz of maximum frequency, which is pretty good. We will see uh, how what kind of speed will go with that. It has also 64 kilobyte of memory, so this is the flash memory for the program, and 20 kilobyte of SRAM. It has um, it's a 3.6 uh, volt microcontroller, but th that should be fine for our um, uh, applications. It has also um, analog to digital converter. We will have a video about it. A DMA also. Um, the microcontroller will be using have 48 pins, not 80, but it has 16 interrupt factor, which is quite great to, to use a lot of application to have real time system. One of the great thing too, it's a five volt tolerant. So if it happens, we use a different uh, connection that have five volt. We are not risking to destroying our microcontroller. Um, yeah, and also it has a debug mode. We will be using a lot the kale to debug and to see how our program is interacting, which is really great for beginners to understand where the issue is. There is timers, and each timer have um, four uh, channels, which can be programmed in different way. And for the communication uh, interfaces, we will take a look to the IDC, I2C, the UART, and the SPI. So that's um, a general picture. I quite advise you to take a look to this document. It's quite a short one, only 117 pages. And the final document that we will be using will be the reference sheet, this one. Um, this document have 1,133 pages. It's quite impressive, but this is the kind of uh, like the guy that you hate from the first sight, and with time it becomes your best friend. So we will use this document to a lot to to do the programming. Um, it has almost all the answers. Uh, quite a good one. So um, let's see how we will how we will finish it. Okay, so thank you a lot for uh, this video and see you for the next one. Thanks!